Good morning world. We've just picked up some food for a little picnic. We're gonna to go to the beach. Looking forward to a beach picnic? No. Yeah? You're looking a bit sleepy. No. No? Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do on the beach? Actually, I am tired. You are a bit tired, yeah? Have you got a plan for the beach? Uh, yes, swim, 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 swim. <laughs> How about food first, swimming later? Oh. oh. I like swimming too. Don't be disappointed though. We'll do both, yeah? Hello! <laughs> Is that a frog on the Hey! They're one of our viewers. Say hello! <laughs> Alright, should we head off to the beach? Okay, let's go find it. This is a really pretty road to drive down, isn't it? Yeah. Like a coast road. It's lovely, yeah. It is. We have just driven into the village of Malinau. I haven't been here before, but it's nice. I just love the road. It's nice and clean, so I could do my bicycle rides. Yeah. <laughs> this would be a good road to do your bike ride, wouldn't it? Maybe next time. Yeah, this is a clean road, so I could do my skateboarding and my, and my bike practicing. Yeah. Well, today, though, we're going to do swimming instead, yeah? Mm. It's so quiet here just parked up on the side of the road. It's always making some noises. <laughs> we were actually planning on going to a beach at the end of this road, but it's been closed. I'm not entirely sure how closed it is because even on Google, it says that they made it a kind of semi-private beach about a year ago, but you're still allowed to go down there. But this time it had like a kind of quarantine sign saying the local ordinance is saying don't go there. So we're gonna try and find a different access point. You ready to go to the beach? Yeah. I think we need to go this way. And jump on in. Walking through the jungle. Oh, you can feel that humidity, can't you? There's a bit of a breeze though, now we're closer to the water. Yeah. yeah that's nice. Story's leading the way. <laughs> she has no clue where we're going, but leading anyway. I'll carry you, it's a big drop, okay? Just wait there for a second. The sand is amazing. This is beautiful. Check it out. You can actually see Naked Island from here. Look at that. It looks like there's still nobody on it. That over there is Daku Island. That is one of our favourite places that we've been to when we came here. Thanks to our friend Jim. For about a couple of weeks now, Story has been asking us for vegan cheese. She wants to try it out because we keep talking about pizza and she kept saying, can I have vegan cheese? So the one place we know we can get it from is in Delhi Street, which we just bought some from. We got brie today yeah. and we're gonna try it out. This is the first time we've had it from here. We've heard good things about the cheese from there, the vegan cheese, So, yeah. but this is the first time we're trying it. They actually had um, vegan brie, they had vegan smoked cheese and a vegan... Parmesan. Parmesan, yeah. Parmesan, Parmesan. Yeah. Yeah. Story's nibbling on a toasted focaccia, aren't you? Hmm? What does it taste like? Vegan cheese. <laughs> There's no vegan cheese on it yet. Would you like to try a piece? So this is what it looks like. This is the brie. Yeah. It looks exactly like brie, it? but just without the rind, mm. isn't it? Mmm. Yeah. Ooh. You don't like the smell? No. What does it smell like? It smells like cucumber. Cucumber? Oh, it smells like flour. Like flour. What's the verdict? Does it taste anything like regular brie? Not really. No? No. Let me try. Was, was it, has it got an aftertaste? No. It's nice. It's got like a lemoniness to yeah. it. But I wouldn't say it was particularly cheesy. No, or brie-y. No. no. But you get the texture. I, I know what this tastes like to me. Halloumi. Oh yeah, a little bit like halloumi, yeah. We got it to go with the focaccia for story because she kept saying how much she really wanted to yeah. try vegan cheese. I think she's actually seen it in the programme. Oh, maybe. Or like the cheese on a pizza, so. Yeah, true. <laughs> you could also have this as a feta alternative. Yeah. I think we paid 140 pesos for this size, this which one, was yeah. 100 grams, I think. But I mean, to be honest, that's more than enough cheese for me. Yeah. <laughs> we, we don't eat cheese anymore, so that is a lot. <laughs> We ordered two Americanos from the Deli Street and yes, asked them to put it in Daddy here. Street. Daddy Street. <laughs> Not Daddy Not Street. Daddy Street. Let's see. 
Mm. Oh, it's really hot. Is it really? <laughs> it's too hot. You can't taste it. Oh, it, it. tastes really nice though. I've heard good things about their coffee. Mm. It's a nice coffee, but just really hot. I think they have an Italian import there. Leave the lid off for a I, minute. I... So as part of Story's mermaid swimming lessons, she has assignments every week and we need to do some form of swimming activity, don't we? Well, this week her assignment was to practice your seahorse, wasn't it? Huh? The teacher she was saying putting her head in the water with a seahorse. Oh. So you have to do that and then you have to draw a seahorse. <laughs> All right. Story's moaning that she's tired, so we're going to try and see if we can get her to relax to the sound of the ocean. I don't think she'll stay there, but it's definitely worth a try. We've got a new problem, haven't we? <laughs> the flask is too good. <laughs> it's really keeping the heat in. I know, I'm annoyed because normally when we come out for picnics I bring stuff like little cups and cutlery and tissues and things like that and I felt like we rushed out and I didn't bring anything like that so otherwise I could have poured it into a cup and yeah. we could be sitting having coffee in a cup on the beach. If we didn't know, we would never have come. I think yeah. last couple of days you said, oh let's do this, let's do that and then like we we dilly dally a bit, we try and get things sorted, we try and get things right, and then we end up not leaving at all. <laughs> so I think in this situation, we had to just go. I'm not sure if Story's actually fallen asleep or not. We're we'll gonna have to keep an eye on the tide, make sure it doesn't come and suck her away. <laughs> Good as peaceful scene though. Lovely place to sit. Is she asleep? Yeah? <laughs> How cute is that? Amazing. I cannot believe that Story has gone to sleep on the beach. That's like a kind of dream situation for us. The perfect meditation sound. I never ever thought it would actually happen and she would actually go to sleep here. This is a first for us. Story is always charged up and she always wants to do something and especially if she's outdoors, it's very unlikely that she's gonna go to sleep unless she was in a tuk-tuk or if we were driving in the car. I'm glad she's getting her peace and quiet. I'm just going for a little walk. My first time in the water today. There's a bit of algae and seagrass, but I'm not seeing too much plastic or waste, which is good. I'm so happy that Sasha discovered this island and suggested that we come here. It really, really has gelled with us. It really feels like the right place to be. The only thing is that we were saying to each other the other day, there were three main things that we want to have sorted. Our Portugal move, we need to get our stuff out of the house. We want to buy a car. And finally, most importantly, Eden the dog. We want to get her out here. Now I actually contacted a specialist company in the UK that deal with shipments and they are going to give us a quote probably today or maybe tomorrow to tell us how much it's going to cost. Unless it's a ridiculous amount of money, we don't really mind about money. Like we just want her out here because if Eden was to pass away and we weren't there to see the end of her life, that would be absolutely traumatizing for us. And it's a very, very real possibility. It's already turning out to be quite an expensive year, but money won't matter if Eden's here and that chapter is just closed, you know? Now, I'm missing her more and more every day and we'll keep you guys updated what's happening with Eden as soon as we get our quote. I just kept walking and I think I might have turned up to a private resort or perhaps somebody's house, so I'm gonna turn back now. I just saw a sign that said private residence, no trespassing, so I was right. Back to the baby and to the wife. To sleep. Who are you? What are you doing here? I like your socks. You're very cute. <laughs> oh, he's got a white chest like Eden. Got a heart chest. Oh. How small it is, though. Yeah. Did the sound of the sea make you a bit sleepy? Jungle book when we go back. 
home. Do you want to go home and watch Jungle Book? Do you want to go for a little rest and uh, we'll go for a little swim first? Okay. Oh yeah. You're welcome. Just don't want to go by yourself. No. We both go. Come on then. Come on, Mum. Oh, come on. Come on. Do it. Hands on your heart. Hands on your heart. Yep. Push forward. Yep. Reverse your hand. Yep. And head over. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Push forward. Push forward. Reverse hands. And take the I thought a storm cloud was going to come and consume us, but it seems to have dissipated. So we've got lovely blue skies. Here's a little future hint as to what Eden will be like if she comes to the beach with us. <laughs> this is exactly what she does. She just sits down next to the food and the bags and just doesn't go anywhere. Actually though, if the whole family was in the water, I think Eden would come in too, wouldn't she? Yeah, she'd come in here, definitely. Yeah. Hey Story, did you see Eden? <laughs> Look, under the bushes. <laughs> under the tree. Yeah. Oh, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Arms out. Arms out. That's it, good girl, kick the legs under the water. Well done, keep kicking. That's it. Yay, well done. I could do that on the surfboard. Yeah. You enjoying the sea? Bubbles with the nose. Well done, <laughs> excellent. Look at that, good balance, Dory. <laughs> oh, look at that! You're going to be an excellent surfer. <laughs> the sun has just been blocked by a stormy grey cloud. Oh, we've been here for ages now, I feel. It's been nice though, there's been absolutely no one else here. The tide hasn't really gone in or out, it's just been the same the whole time as well, which is nice. But now of course that Story's awake, she's really up for swimming, <laughs> so she's going to be tough to get out of the water. Waves are coming, whoa, it's a big wave. Oh, jump in, yay! <laughs> We are actually still working on this thermos of coffee but we have actually run out of water. Story's still got her little flask but Jay and I have drunk ours so I think we're gonna pack up very shortly and go and find somewhere to have ice cream. All right so that big grey cloud that I just said about has passed well and truly and it's gotten out really sunny now hasn't it? I think I've got sunburn. Yeah. I can feel it around my neck. Look at it up there now, it's like real paradise sunshine, lovely. As predicted, Story's protesting leaving. <laughs> I don't blame her because it is a lovely place. It's been a bit like having our own little private beach, hasn't it? Yeah, there's only one other person here, but they were around the corner. Right? Yeah. What have you found? What is it? A sea stick. Wow. We had fun at the beach, didn't we, Story? Yeah, there's quite a lot of tangled roots there. Yeah, we can't be able to lift it up. Yeah, we don't want to lift those. <laughs> oh, that was nice. It was nice. That was really nice. I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. That. Private beach experience. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a shame. Look at that. Everyone's just left all their trash, haven't they? That is a shame. Well, at least they've put it up here so it won't go back in the sea. But we do need to come pick that up with a bag, don't we? What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. Yeah, what a shame. All this rubbish. Back through the jungle to the tuk-tuk. Okay, we're in the town of General Luna. We're looking for some popsicles. Just parked up by the side of the road. Looks like they're making most of the empty time to do some construction in the main road. Hi! Oh, this is beautiful. It's really nice in here, isn't it, Story? This is looking good. Mango coconut popsicle, a homemade vegan kimchi, mango and coconut. And is it is it cold? Yeah, it's a popsicle. Yeah, ice lolly. Popsicle is ready. Wow, that's good. Is it 
It's my Dilemma and Coconut. Can Mommy and Daddy try some? Yeah. Thank you. You're allowed. I'm allowed. Yeah, Mommy's allowed. And I'm allowed. Mmm, yum. It's nice, isn't it? You can tell it's got fresh coconut water in it. Coconut water is on there. Three vegan muffins to try. Good morning, world. I hope you, I, I hope you be good. <laughs> I had a really nice muffin. I got a really nice muffin. See? Oh. So we're at Beach Baby Cafe. So I have a muffin. I, I still haven't eaten my pipe muffin. I got a little banana and nuts in it too. Bye bye. We're back at home and ready to do some shout outs at sunset. Who's first? First up, we are wishing a big happy birthday. Whoa. <laughs> I just fell down. <laughs> so we are wishing a big happy birthday to husband and wife whose birthdays are very close <laughs> together, Ali and Sherwin, based in Dubai. Hello to you both and happy birthday. Happy birthday. There's also Filipinos based in Dubai, isn't there? There is, yeah. Bop, bop, bop. Hello, Maxi Jolom. Yeah. And happy birthday to you. <laughs> yes, this shout out request came from your niece, Christine. Thank you for your lovely message to us and I hope you enjoy all of the future videos we make. <laughs> Next up, we are saying hi, vegans of Devel and Sahara from Denmark. <laughs> Dan says it would be excellent to see Eden running around here with the other dogs on the beach. <laughs> I agree, it would be excellent to have her here. Yeah. I'm not sure she'd be so keen on all the other dogs. Yes, but <laughs> that's true. But we will get her out here if it's possible. But yes. Gold might bark at Eden. Definitely. Yeah, she would, wouldn't she? And Eden will bark back. <laughs> Next up, we are saying happy birthday to Filipina Cabales. And that came from your husband, Reggie. Happy birthday and hello, both of you. Happy anniversary yes. to Mark and Rona. That's right. You guys are celebrating your 25th wedding anniversary on the 29th of July. Sorry we missed the actual date. You've been living for the past 23 years with your daughter Angel in Vancouver. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want a shout out of your own, 8milesfromhome at gmail.com. Let us know. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.